Yo, what's up guys? Today I'll be going over how to add particles in your music video, just like NBA Youngboy's Big Truck video. So we're gonna start off by hopping into After Effects. And here you see I have a clip from the Big Truck video. So all I'm gonna do is duplicate this three times. And for the first one, I'm gonna put background. And for the second one, I'm gonna put particles. All right, and for the third one, this is gonna be my rotoscope layer. So I'm just gonna rename it rotoscope. All right, so here I'm gonna double click on my rotoscope layer and I'm gonna rotoscope my subject. And here I'm gonna just go frame by frame. And I'm not gonna make this perfect, but for your videos, I do recommend you making this perfect. So here, I'm gonna just freeze this. So now that I have rotoscope my subject, I'm just gonna go to my particles layer. So now I'm gonna just go to my effects and presets and type in CC ball action. And here, I'm gonna make sure that I'm at the beginning of my clip. So now here, I'm gonna keyframe my scatter and bump this up to about 100. And then I'm gonna come down to ball size and also preframe that and go to about a 30. And now I'm gonna also go to grid spacing and keyframe that and bump it down to a three. And then I'm gonna also keyframe instability state. And then I'm gonna go over here to a one and then i'm gonna come up to my rotation as well and probably put this at a 30. now i'm gonna go to the end of my clip and i'm just gonna move my rotation back to zero and then i'm gonna go to ball size and bump this up to a 40 and then my scatter i'm gonna bump down to a 90. now you should come up with an effect that looks like this if you guys did want this effect going in a different direction i do recommend you guys playing around with the rotation as well as scatter and even the ball size now i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys find this video useful please drop me a like comment and you should watch the video youtube recommends you to watch next Peace.